Hi there. First, we're gonna get to know the memory areas and different components of the Drool's decision manager. First, let's recap that Drool's is declarative. You know, we have the when part that is called left hand side of the rule with conditions, and then part that is called right hand side of the rules with actions. And as you know, you don't call rules, you don't pass arguments, they are not methods. Like uh, SQL is also declarative. You say what you want to be returned, you, do, you don't say how to get it. The same is with rules. So on this slide we have the uh, building blocks of uh, rules internal decision engine. So uh, we have a place in memory where the rules are stored. These are, this is called production memory. And we have a place in memory that where facts are stored. This is working memory. And in between we have pattern match and this is the core engine that, that takes the rules and finds matches from working memory. And once uh, the rules that can be fired together with the facts that um, match, they are moved to agenda and the agenda decides which one is going to execute next in the execution engine. So I mentioned that it's uh, similar with SQL. So in SQL, like a rule, if you think about SQL, it's like a SQL statement. So it tries to select some data and it could select from a single table. So uh, let's say a fact is a row. So a rule tries to select those facts from series of tables and they, it could select from a single table or it could be selecting from multiple tables by joining them. So we have selects that try to fire and facts there are like rows in tables and the pattern matcher tries to find select statements or rules that return a row so that match this is called a match if, if it returns a row and here the comparison with sql kind of ends because then part is you don't have then part in SQL. So agenda collects the then parts that are ready to be executed of the matched rules and sends the actual execution to execution engine. So let's uh, forget the SQL for now and see this loop in action. So pattern matcher determines possible rules to fire. So rules are here and facts are here and we get a set of possible rules that could fire pattern match and sends them to agenda which selects the rule to fire if there are none then it's exit no more execution the execution ends here but if if there were rules agenda selects one of them and execution engine fires that rule and what happens now we have an arrow to working memory the rule when it's fired probably changes something in the working memory so what it what could it do it could insert a new fact it could update an existing fact and it also could remove or retract a fact from the memory and uh, it's it's an important to know that the rule has to I, uh, like inform the rules that I am gonna change that field. If it just secretly calls some method that changes the field, the rules won't know. So as we learned in the beginner to intermediate course, you have to use the update or modify keyword. And the loop continues as long as no more rules can fire.